Let's continue our discussion of scope and here we'll talk about global identifiers. When we create a function, the function has its own namespace. So let's say that functions have their own namespaces. And this is how they know if a variable is defined locally. It's just within their namespace. But this namespace exists in the context of a surrounding namespace. And what happens is if an identifier is used in a function and it's not found within the function's namespace, Python will look in the surrounding namespace to try and find a value associated with that identifier. Let's demonstrate this behavior, but let me say up front, some of the things we're going to do here are not considered good programming practices and it's best to avoid them. And we'll say a bit more about that later. But let's define a function and let's call it show w. And we'll say this is version 0. It doesn't take any arguments. And the body of the function just consists of a print statement where we'll print w is equal to and then whatever the value of w is. And that's it. What happens when we call this function? So I just started Python. This is a brand new session. No identifiers have been defined. Let's call this function show w version 0. And there's no surprise here. When we call this function, Python says, well, w is not defined. And we get this error. But now let's define a value for an identifier w, but let's do it outside of the function. Let's say w is equal to perhaps 37, and let's try calling the function again. So show underscore w version 0, and now it works. There's no error. So functions look in the surrounding scope when an identifier isn't defined locally. And the converse of this is something we considered in the previous video, and that is that references to identifiers made in the surrounding scope do not use functions namespaces to determine the value of identifiers. So functions can see variables defined in the surrounding scope, but the surrounding scope can't look into a function's namespace to see what has been defined there. Now let's create another function. This one, again, called show underscore w, but let's make this version 1. And now let's pass a parameter to this that we'll call w. After all, we're showing w. And let's have a print statement where we print w is equal to and then print the value of w. That's the entire function. What's the value of w in the surrounding scope outside of the function? It's 37. But let's call this function show w version 1. And let's give an argument, let's just say, of 0. And this function claims that w is equal to 0. And that's because it was using a formal parameter called w, but that w is local to the function itself. It got assigned a value of 0 when the call was made to the function, when we passed it the argument of 0. And then it simply printed that value. So this is one of the reasons why the use of these global variables is a tricky thing. Now we have a w defined in the global scope and another w defined within the function and that can be very confusing. And just to drive this home, let's see what w is in the surrounding scope. It's still 37. Now when I say global scope or global variable, I mean something that's defined outside of any other function. But if we wanted to use this show w version 1 function and pass to it the value of w in the global scope, then that makes sense. But if we pass in anything else, it gets a little bit confusing that we have a local variable w within the function and a w outside of the function, that global w. Now, let's write a couple more functions. And 
Let's try to get a function to increment the value of w. Let's define a function, maybe call it inc w, and call this our first attempt. And we'll give it an argument of w and say, w, we want to take your old value, add to it 1, and reassign it back to w. And for debugging purposes, maybe we'll print that w is equal to whatever its value is. And maybe we'll make this a non-void function where it's returning the value of w. And that's it. So let's check the value of w. It's currently 37. And let's call this function. Let's say increment or inc w version 0. And let's pass to it the value of w. And this says w is 38 and returns 38. OK, so what's w now in this global scope? It's unchanged. Nothing new was assigned to it. That w within the inc underscore w v0 function was just local to that function. Again, this illustrates the confusion between global variables and local variables. This is generally not something we want to mess with. We typically don't want to use global variables in our code. OK, despite the fact that we really don't want to use global variables, let's continue on with this example. And let's say we really want to increment w in the global scope using some function. So let's make another attempt. Let's say we want to increment w. So we'll write inc underscore w. Now we're on version 1, and we think, oh, well, let's not pass in a parameter called w. And that way, Python will look in the global scope. So let's just have a statement here that w is equal to w plus 1. And as before, let's print the value of w for debugging purposes. And maybe we could put that return statement again. OK, let's try this. What is w? Still 37. How about if we call this function inc underscore w version 1? Doesn't take any arguments. This says, no, you know, Python is confused. It says there's this local variable referenced before assignment. So that first statement in the body of the function was very confusing to Python. It says, you're assigning something to this identifier w. And that's how I get local variables to spring into existence. But on the right-hand side, you're referencing w. But that's not defined yet. But there's one in the surrounding scope. So I don't know what you want me to do here. OK, let's make one more attempt. Let's define a function called inc underscore w. We're now on version 2. It doesn't take any arguments. And we can actually get this to work. We can use a function to mess around with a identifier in the surrounding scope if we explicitly tell Python that, hey, this identifier is coming from the global scope or the surrounding scope. So what we say is global, that's a keyword, and then write what identifier is coming from the surrounding scope. And let's say w. Now we're saying this isn't a local variable. This is defined outside of the function. It's already in existence out there. And we could say, we want to assign to w its old value plus 1. Let's put a print statement in here to show the value of w. And no real need for a return statement. Let's see if this works. Now, what is w? It's 37. Let's call this function inc underscore w version 2. And now this says w's 38. But is it really? And let's check. Yep. It did indeed get incremented in the surrounding scope. So we could call this function again and again, and w will be incremented. So this works, but global variables are a bad idea. They make code very hard to maintain, so it's best to avoid them. So what should we do instead? We could say that we should pass information into a function, not via a global variable, but via the arguments or via the parameters. And then when it comes to getting information out of the function, we should obtain information from a function via a return statement. If we want to use the value that a function returned to change 
an identifier in the surrounding scope, then we just use an assignment statement to do that. We take whatever the function returns and we assign it to the identifier in the surrounding scope.